Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Chopard LUC Chronometer Classic, 39.5 millimeters in 18 karat white gold. This watch represents the high end of Chopard's manufacture. Now, equipped with both an in-house movement and a Chopard manufactured white gold case, this watch represents the best that Chopard can offer in the high horology segment. Let's put it on the wrist and get a sense of how it wears and talk a little bit about its story. Now, 39.5 might be the perfect size for a modern dress watch. Bigger than the 33, 34, 35 millimeter sizes of ancestral high horology, it's nevertheless not comically oversized like the 45 plus pieces that we saw in the mid 2000s. And on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that the proportions are ideal. By keeping the watch reasonably sized, Chopard is able to give it strong and pronounced lugs. There's no need to really shrink them down and make them a minimal part of the watch's structure in order to fit on the wrist. They can be broad, flowing, and expressive, and I really like that. Now, the watch is only 8.5 millimeters thick, so it rightly qualifies as an ultra-thin. And I'll even note that because it has a beautifully rounded tumble-home convex bezel, it's easy for a dress cuff to slide up and over this watch. Again, if your wrist is smaller than mine, if it's below 15 centimeters in circumference, you've still got an excellent chance of wearing this watch with real style and comfort because the size is so reasonable. This is what a modern dress watch is going to look like. Right around 40 millimeters, maybe a little bit smaller, with beautiful detailing and high horology content to boot. The strap, which is minimally bolstered, is very supple and bends around the wrist with ease. It needs no encouragement to take the curvature of your wrist. A traditional 18 karat white gold Chopard pin buckle with screwed in straight through bar ensures that you don't have a spring bar in here but rather very positive retention and a vintage look thanks to the presence of the screws and the Chopard marquee. Now the watch is just gorgeous. The dial itself is a beautiful extension of the case. Simple but strong. All of the indices are applied white gold and beautifully polished. Now, they're all spade indices, but they have two facets. So as you move them through the light, one facet goes dark and one facet gleams. So this watch, despite having a matte black dial, is beautifully animated as you move it through the light. Quite gorgeous in spite of its simplicity, or perhaps because of its simplicity. Now, the Dauphine hands at center are the perfect complement to the spade shape of the indices themselves and they actually feature complementary polished facets so you get that same impression of shifting light as you move this watch and as the hands make their circuit around the dial. Now the date disc is in my opinion essential in a modern practical watch because even though we could if we try determine what the date is on any given day I find myself referring to the date on my watch constantly Granted, I've got computers, I've got tablets, I've got phones to tell me what date it is, but somehow the watch is still my first resort. So this one, a monotone black, small, discreet, matching the color of the dial and the dominant color of the watch, I really like it. I think it's a positive addition, and it's nicely underpinned by a four-faceted polished index at six. Now you might notice that the watch reads chronometer, and it is in fact a COSC certified chronometer because the Chopard LUC Caliber 496 on the case back, I'm going to give you an eyeful of it in just a moment, is not only beautifully finished and manufactured in-house by Chopard, but it's also a COSC certified high precision Swiss chronometer. And as you can see, it's a micro rotor. The best thing about a micro rotor is that it gives you the beautiful view, the unobstructed view of the movement that you would get with a manual wind watch, but it gives you the practicality and the ease of use, basically the everyday convenience of an automatic winding watch. And this gorgeous micro rotor, engraved with the LUC symbol and a sort of Soleil sunburst rayon pattern, is a beautiful thing to behold. Not 17, 18, 21, or the strange carat counts you've seen on other weighted rotors. This entire rotor is 22 carat gold. Not a gold segment, entirely gold, and beautiful as a result. The entire movement is finished to Chopard's high standards for the LUC line. Now, since 1996, Chopard has been a manufacturer, and the LUC calibers, starting with the 196 of 1996, represent that high standard of in-house watchmaking savoir-faire. Most of the parts are made in Fleurier at Chopard's headquarters, and some of them are manufactured in Geneva 
as well as at Fleurier. So they have a dual-pronged watchmaking operation that takes the best of the Watch Valley as well as Geneva tradition and imparts them into these great ultra-thin in-house calibers. And I do mean ultra-thin. The entire caliber being less than four and a half millimeters thick is nevertheless remarkably self-sufficient in as much as off the wrist it can endure for 65 hours thanks to the clever addition of a double mainspring barrel in a stacked arrangement. So right here you can see that the rotor is actually winding, you can't quite, see, you can see the teeth. A double mainspring barrel that's essentially built like a sandwich with one on top of the other, allowing twice the mainspring capacity to be contained in half the space. Again, 65 hours is impressive given that the industry standard is 42 hours, so this watch has substantial autonomy. Everything about the finish is excellent, definitely punching above its weight. Chopard has learned a great deal in its short history as a manufacturer. You can see that all of the englage of the bridges is done by hand with a file. All of the screw and the jewel countersinks are mirror polished, very impressive. And linear Cote de Genève, we were talking about that Geneva watch finishing tradition, linear Cote de Genève beautifully aligned across the balance cock as well as all of the other bridges, beautifully done. You can also see straight brushing on certain components, as well as a tight and regular overlapping perlage pattern on the base plate. Very nicely done. This gives you a little bit of the taste of the Geneva high horology savoir faire that's found its way to Chopard's manufacturer in Fleurier. With this watch, you're getting a lot. You're getting a classical look. You're getting perfect proportions. You're getting arguably the most versatile combination of colors. The white metal, the black, goes good with anything. It looks appropriate anywhere. It can be casual. You can wear it with shorts. You can wear it with long pants. And it can dress all the way up to a tuxedo at your daughter's wedding. But the bottom line is, this watch, if you have to have just one watch, could definitely be that watch. And I can't overemphasize that while gold, white gold, is very discreet, on the wrist, white gold is that beautiful secret between you and your watch. You can feel the premium heft of it that pull that reminds you you're really wearing something special, but it doesn't have to try too hard to declare itself. You know it's there. And like every other facet of this Chopard Chronometer Classic, it's beautifully finished. Gold, dial, movement, strap, and buckle. This is the total package. Again, if you're looking for the one watch, this Chopard Chronometer Classic just may be the watch you want.